Is your phone hot right now? I bet it is. So let's go through and talk about how we can fix overheating here. The phone can overheat for a few reasons. Let me go over a few of those and then we'll kind of get more into how to fix them. First thing is a case could actually help overheat a phone. If the case is really enclosed with not many areas where heat can escape, that can just keep the phone really hot. You want to make sure that the cases aren't completely suffocating your phone. Now there will be times when your phone will be hot, especially after charging. If you've just had your phone at like 20% and you charge it for an hour, that time of charging is a very intense amount of charging. So it's going to be warm or hot. Now there's also different types of heat. Are you able to hold the phone? Is the phone so hot that you can't even pick it up? you're gonna have to figure this out because if it's just warm yes that's gonna happen especially if you just charge the phone or you're playing a graphic intense game like fortnite or call of duty something like that will definitely push the phone as much as it can causing the graphics to rev up to hundred percent and pretty much stay pegged there so the phone's not getting a break so the heat is just gonna keep pouring out Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin with HelpfulTutorials.net. If you're new and you like iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials, do me a favor, smack that subscribe button. I'd love to have you here. Let's go ahead and talk more about this. Is there other reasons your phone can overheat? Updating the phone to a new iOS, to a brand new platform, for example, 14.0 or 15.0, when you get to that point O, oh, that's a whole new area for the phone to work in. And when that happens, a lot of times the battery area is not really efficient. And because of that, the battery can drain a lot more. Usually you'll see an update later, 14.1 or 14.2, for example, and that will probably fix your problem with your battery. When it comes to updating to the new iOS, I usually suggest to right away, but you may want to wait a little bit if you're worried about having a battery problem till they come out with the point one or point two, and just pay attention to channels like this to find out if they have fixed the battery problem that they have introduced with the new version. If you're already having the problem, the best thing to do is just go ahead and update right away because you already have it. So to do this on the screen, you'll go ahead and choose general. And then you go and choose software update and then it'll tell you if it's updated or not. I always pull down from the top because sometimes it just needs to be refreshed. But we're at 14.3 as of the making of this video and we're good. 14.2 and 14.3 really did help this phone as far as battery and it's doing great. So what else can we do? Well, first, before we get into what we can do, let me explain how to cool it off. The best way to go ahead and cool it down is to close out of all your applications and then turn the phone off for about a minute. And you'll probably notice it be back to the regular temperature in that time. Yeah, you don't have your phone for a minute, but it quickly, quickly turns it off. You can also close your apps and just lock the screen. That will help as well, but it's not going to be as quick. So if we look at my phone to close my apps, I just pull up from the bottom and go to the right and you can see all the apps and all you do is push them up and they're closed and we could go ahead and do this to all of them if we wanted but i want mine open so <laughs> so that's how you cool it off and that's also how you can help things by closing all the apps closing all the apps if there is a problem with an app is going to go ahead and help you a good way to help prolong your battery and not get it so hot is by turning off battery app refresh a lot of people don't know about this, but if you go into settings and then we go into general, once we're in general, we'll choose background app refresh and you just want to turn this off. What this is doing, if you have applications open in the background, they're allowed to work in the background. Now by doing that, that's going to go ahead and put more of a strain on your battery, especially if you're using it on something else you're focused on. So a lot of times you could turn these off individually or go ahead and just choose the button and choose off or Wi-Fi only. If you're having problems, I would definitely go to Wi-Fi or off and not leave it on cellular data because that will just hurt it more. Another step is to check what app is having the problem. So to do that, you want to go ahead and choose settings. Going to scroll down till we see battery and select battery. 
going to bring up a report here and it's going to say last 24 hours. You can kind of get an idea and look through there and see what is really hurting your battery. Now you can see Shop Titans, I play as you guys know, not sponsored <laughs> and it's 26% battery so it's using a good amount of battery. So because of that, I want to be careful with that. Now I know I play it and it uses that battery so I'm not worried about it. But if that was at a lot higher percentage, I would want to do more research on it. If you tap on it, it'll also say show battery usage and it'll show you the amount of time it was on the screen, 24 minutes for 26%. So in YouTube's 22 for 18%. So that just kind of gives you an idea. So if this would be a red flag, what we would want to do is delete Shop Titans and go ahead and re-download it. So to do that, all you would do is hold down on the app and then it'll say remove app. Go ahead and choose that and then it'll ask you to confirm. After you confirm, you go back in the app store, re-download it, and hopefully that goes and takes care of the problem. If you're still having a problem, the next thing would probably be to reset all your settings. Keep in mind when this overheats, the majority of the time, I would probably say like 98, 99% of the time, it is software related, not hardware related. Now, if you did get your phone wet or you leave it out in the sun all the time, something like that, that is gonna definitely affect your phone and cause some issues. But if you haven't done those kind of things, most likely it's just settings. There's a setting in there somewhere that's causing the problem. Unless your phone is also like six to eight years old, you know, after a while, the lithium batteries do go ahead and shrink and can cause odd things to happen. So to reset all settings, all you just go ahead and choose settings, go to general, scroll down, choose reset, and then choose reset all settings. Now keep in mind, you're gonna have to reset up everything that you have set up specifically. It's not gonna delete everything. It's just gonna delete your setting portion. Those are the main ways to fix the battery from overheating. Again, keep an eye on the case. Make sure the case is allowing ample air, especially on the bottom of the phone where the speakers are and the lightning port. If it's covering it up and it has a flap and stuff like that, you may want to just remove it if you can, just so it can dispense the air. But if you're playing a game for a few hours and it's high intensive, it's going to get hot. It's just You just can't help it. But there is a difference between phones that get warm and hot and ones that will burn you when you pick them up. I've experienced this very rarely, but once in a while when I was working on iPhones, I would get a phone that gets so hot that I couldn't even touch it because it would burn my hand. So with that phone, when that happens, I just say goodbye to that phone and get the person a new phone. So if it's still in warranty time, at that point, I would go to the Apple store and have them try to replace it or they may go ahead and completely delete the phone and reset it up. They'll also do like a firmware update, basically delete every single thing on the phone, all the code of how it works, the iOS, everything. And then they would reset the phone up like it was brand new. A lot of times that can fix it because it is software related. So that is gonna be one of your last options there if none of these take care of it. I hope this resolves it for you. Let me know if any of them have, and if so, which ones did. And thank you so much for the view.